What up, Facebook, YouTube, Twitter, Facebook, Instagram, SoundCloud, SoundClick, it's your boy Tone202, and I'm back on the porch one more again. Ah, uh, it's hot out here. <laughs> it is hot. So, somebody asked me recently, why do I think that the NBA let Cleveland get swept? I don't think the NBA, uh, look, there's a few reasons. You know, one, Vegas. We know Vegas is controlling a lot of what's going on. Uh, so that's one reason why I think it happened. Another thing, LeBron didn't even give up a fight. Look, look, I think Vegas had, Vegas already had uh, Golden State to win. But I think LeBron was just finished after game one. He just, he just... I mean, he, we know he's in on a fix, but even he couldn't believe that. Like, come on. Like, damn, Hill and Smith, what are y'all doing? Like, I I, th I think I'd, listen, LeBron's getting older. Somebody did bring that up. He's getting older. This is true. Uh, somebody asked, you know, why has he never had a major injury? Because he doesn't play all games. This uh, this season, he played all his games. I mean, you gotta consider that he was tired, and when you get tired, you get cranky, and when you get cranky, you 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 just get like I, I, I'm finished. You you have you you reach the end of your tether real quick when you're tired. It's, it that's just the way it is. When you're tired and you're hungry, you're just like oh. When you put you know 51 points up in a game. You know, you're constantly putting in between 30 and 50 points up, and your teammates collectively aren't matching you collectively. Like, but like I said, LeBron creates his own monsters. He really, really does. He creates his own monsters. And I think, uh, you know, with the whole max pay, it's like, LBJ, come on now. You're creating your own monsters. You can't, you can't have it all. LeBron, you just, I'm sorry, you can't, that's not the way the NBA is set up. It's not set up for you to have it all, LeBron. It just isn't. You can't make that much money and everybody else, you know, and you try to max out their contracts and they're just not as good as you. And next thing you know, you just, and now you can't afford a superstar. So you pay the stars, Smith, Love, you know, you pay them what they're worth. You know, Smith make a 14. I mean, come on. But you can't afford a superstar. 14 million a year is not superstar status. You want to know what superstar status is? Superstar is when you're doing, you know, Russell Westbrook numbers, 28. You know, Carmelo Anthony numbers, uh, 29 or something like that. Oh, 26, I think. 26 million. For the next five years, Car Carmelo Anthony. Uh, so when you get in the upper 20s, then you're doing superstar status. Pretty, not necessarily. No, nah, that's not. You're doing star status. You know. But I don't know if any of those other guys, and I know some of you guys are going to check, and that's fine. Um, they're going to check and see if any of those guys were making in, in the 20s. Anybody else? I don't know. But you got a couple, you know. When you're doing 36 million, that's a lot. So, with that being said, you know, you got the, you know, Steph Curry contract that just put him in the $40 million range. And now, you know, now he's in the $40 million range. And now it's like, okay, do we have a cap space to go ahead and put KD, you know, because he was, he was doing 20, 25 mil. Do we have enough money to keep him there? You know, and then start paying these other guys what they're going to start asking for. Everybody except Clay. Clay's happy. <laughs> and, and now we look at Paul George. Paul George decided, you know what? I think I'm going to stay. That's what he said at a club or something. He said, I'm staying. Uh, I'm, I'm, not, I'm not leaving OKC. So now you got that whole dynamic going on where everybody had this whole whisper of this super team in LA coming up and Bron Bron even though he opted out he could still stay in Cleveland 
So I don't, there's some there's some really weird stuff going on. But um, to that question, you know, I was like, um, I was like, um, you know. I think they might want to build a super team in L.A. Maybe that's why they let them get swept out. I mean, you know, we was talking uh, live on the live the other day. We was, you know, I think Iz and I was talking, and we was just like, look, what up to Iz and his family, Israel? I was just like, well, look, man. They can go ahead and have LeBron go to and make some super team and then knock off Golden State. Other than that, it's going to be super, super boring. It, it's going to be tired if something doesn't happen over there in Golden State. So it's just like, okay, they can make the super team in the West, knock them off, because you're not going to make one in the East, knock them off. Boston's not going to knock them off. You know, so you make the super team in the West, knock them off, and then have Boston and L.A. in the championship and bring back the old, you know, the old vibe that we used to see. But it's just like, ugh. Phoenix. I want to see Phoenix win it. <laughs> Tell Charles Barkley go back to Phoenix. Phoenix! That's who, that's who I want to see win a championship. I want to see Phoenix. <laughs> I mean, we weren't even talking about Golden State until Steph Curry and then went there and then blew it up. I'm just saying, it's, a, it's the same old dance. It really is. <laughs> It's the same old dance. No. So I really don't know how to answer that question. I was just as surprised as everybody else that they got swept, but I wasn't surprised that, got, that they got beat because I said if Golden State goes and they go up against Cleveland, you know, Cleveland's going to have a hard time. They're going to lose. You know, but I was still holding out because that's what I do. I pick a team. I stay with them, Steelers, this year. Uh, but I was like, bro. I just can't see it. I was really hoping Houston was going to do their thing, but Houston was like, you know, sat down one of their best players, and there that went out the door. So I don't know. Let's just wait and see what's going to happen. You know, Sports on 202 coming at you one more again, and God loves you.